Here's an interesting um, Operation Summits on the air. It would be an um, interesting uh, operation for a lot of people to activate some of the summits around the uh, U.S. And uh, so I found this here at the uh, Frost Fest in Richmond. Chuck over here talking about it. We'll let you tell him a little bit about summits on the air. Well, we're here at Frost Fest in Richmond, Virginia. The Ham Radio Festival. February 4th. 2012, it's here at the Raceway in Richmond. One's on the air. Uh, in order for a summit to qualify in this program, it has, has to have at least a 500 foot prominence. In other words, summit needs to be 500 feet above any surrounding terrain. Okay. Uh, there, it's a point based program for the activator, the guy that's climbing the mountain, or the chaser, the guys that are at home in their home shack. Uh, the number of points that you earn for that summit are dependent upon its elevation, and that's all explained in the in the uh, manuals. But the other thing, when I go up a summit and I get on the air, I need to make four contacts to make earn the points. So for every one of us that are on a mountaintop, we need four of you on the on down below. But you can you, your contact can be with anyone from the summit. Anyone, yeah, okay. anyone. Yeah. We even do summit to summit. Yeah. Yeah. How long has this been a program? Uh, about 10 years. It began in the United Kingdom. Uh, really only taken off in this country in the last few years. Well, we've got a, uh, and I'm from Floyd, Virginia. We got a 4,000 foot little thing called Buffalo Mountain down there. I was on Buffalo last year. Yeah. yeah it was one of the first summits I activated, actually. Wow. Yeah. There's a uh, local guy. He was uh, another fellow walking around that lives down that way. He's from, from there originally. Yeah. And, uh, he was going down to visit family, so he says, Chuck, I got a mountain. So you've been so, down in so uh, been down, yeah. down on Buffalo Mountain. Yeah. Great. Yeah. I, I own a little piece of property right at the base of that mountain. Oh, okay. But, we, we, you know, we followed uh, followed his GPS and it brought us in on the wrong side. And we just got to this trail that just kept getting narrower and narrower and narrower. And we ended up having to drive 30 miles around to get around to the side that goes up where, yeah, where yeah. The, the park was. Well, good. But I know the way now, so when I go back... <laughs> well, it's an interesting program. The summit's yeah. on the air. The summit's on the air. And uh, yeah. we, we probably got some other peaks there in Floyd that might qualify. Oh, they're, 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 yeah. yeah. They're, they're, I, 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 I did the terrain analysis. I cataloged everything. Like I said, there's 542 peaks in Virginia that are qualified in the program. Oh, so A lot are on private land, so we may not be able to get there ever. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. Uh, I've been... Uh, just to make life easy, Eric, this fellow here is uh, one of our participants. And what is your name? You Chuck. Don't, Chuck, okay, yeah. you don't have it there. What's your call, Chuck? K K4QS. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah. Chuck K4QS, great. Thank you, Chuck. Yeah. Great program. This is Summits on the Air. It would be an um, interesting uh, operation for a lot of people to activate some of the summits around the uh, U.S. and. Uh, so I found this here at the Frost Fest in Richmond. Chuck over here talking about it.